According to World Bank statistics, the East African community is the fastest growing regional bloc, but inequalities and high levels of poverty in the region continue to widen the gap between the poor and the rich. The concentration of wealth has remained largely unchanged over the years. The Speaker of the East African Legislative Assembly, Daniel Fredikidega, was opening the 10th Interparliamentary Relations Meeting, commonly known as Nanyuki Series, in the Kenyan capital Nairobi. As we all know, one of the fundamental principles that govern the success of the East African community is good governance. When poverty and inequality persists in a society, it weakens the political processes and promotes deficient governance structures. A school of economics and poverty reduction professor Augustus Nwagaba challenged lawmakers. This inequality is going to deal very destructively with you. With you. The Kenyans, Kenyans, do we need to, to talk much? Kenyans, do we need to talk much? In 2007, in December, do we need to talk much? Let's stop there. Comparing development indices of Mauritius and Singapore, Professor Nwagaba said East Africa needs to borrow a reef from the two and transit the region from the current state of poverty to middle income state. The reason why you have security is because of the money you have stolen. Because of the money you have stolen. The security of the, of the Prime Minister for what? Why do you have 20 vehicles for security? That's because of the money you have stolen. Why do you have a perimeter wall of 14 feet? Why? Professor Nwagaba commended what he referred to as steady progress by political leaders in Kenya that is now ranked high in the region. Uh, Kenya is leading us on the Human Development Index. President Kenyatta, what did he do? He assented to the 14.5% interest rate. We want to salute Kenya. We want to salute Kenya. You cannot have, you cannot continue to, 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 to strangle investment. And the government to continue borrowing, very, very heavy borrowing in terms of managing the fiscal metrics. I'm very glad Kenya started economics in the right place, with especially my, my, my OB, uh, Kibaki. We are both graduates of London School of Economics. Yeah. This, according to Professor Nwagaba, has made Kenya enjoy both high foreign direct and domestic investments with relatively high industrialization compared to Uganda. And if I, I showed you the, the cost of investment in Singapore, is it too? Cost of investment in China, 0 0.00, those who studied mathematics, 0.00067 recurring money in China is free. Don't ask yourself why money in China is just free. Don't ask yourself why China is in every investment. They get the money free. Despite Kenya's level of growth as compared to the rest of the region, the per capita income of Kenya remains at 1,358 US dollars, representing 45.2% of the population, living under $1.25 a dollar a day, an indication of a sharp contradiction to the realities aimed at bringing an end to poverty among the East Africans. <laughs> this house, I took a picture in Jijiri. This house is in Jijiri, you know it. It's not a theoretical house. So don't see that it's just an architectural drawing. The house is in Jijiri, here. But also this one is in existence here, just a few meters from, from, from it. And you think that you are going to sleep here and be happy? The benefit stream accruing from any of this so-called common market must be such that it is able to empirically deliver this benefit stream to everyone. How does this person feel that East Africa is there? I want to feed it. How does he feed it? How does he have it? How does he see it? It is not supposed to be a... It's not... East Africa is not... Don't take it as a theoretical concept. It's something which is real. It's been people's real life. Jingo Francis, NTV, in Nairobi, Kenya.